Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to pass parameter values from image click and SSRS report. We'll be creating a report in which we'll have different images and by clicking on each of the image we want to display the related contents in the tablex. So let's go ahead and create that report. If you want to take a look what you will learn in this report you will see those all headings here on the right side. And uh, let me take you SSMS, um, SQL Survey Management Studio, and uh, we are having a total sale table. So let's uh, run the query and uh, take a look on records. Uh, I have a country name column uh, in which I have a data for USA, Pakistan, India, France, and Germany. I will be using this data and uh, uh, creating a parameter by using a country name. Rest of the columns are sale, sale person, first name, last name, and product name, and other information. You can use any information, whatever you like. So let's go ahead and take this query and create our report. So copy here, go to SSDT SQL Server Data Tools, and now we can create a report. SSRS project is already open. If you don't know how to create the new one, you can watch my previous videos. A sales Shared data source is already created as well. Uh, let's click uh, on sales uh, uh, shared data source uh, and you can see that it is pointing to the SQL server and uh, uh, the database it is pointing to a call uh, is a sales. Uh, now if you don't know how to create it right click on the shared data sources and uh, add new data source uh, you will be asked uh, to provide SQL server name and uh, database name. Uh, so that's how you can create it. Uh, right click on the reports uh, to create a new report. Uh, add new item. Now click on the report uh, that will create empty report. Uh, let's give this name so we call it image click. hit add it will create empty report it's taken a second now go to the data sources right click here add data source and we can create embedded data source that will be specific or limited to that report but we want to use the shared data source shared data source can be used in multiple reports and we have sales shared data source so we are going to use that one let's give a name to this uh, called ds sales now hit ok next part we will be creating a data set right click add data set and uh, here we will be using embedded data set uh, select your data source and uh, provide the query and one more thing we would like to rename called the ds set let me call this one ds set sales or total sales now to create a, a parameter what we have to do we have to say where country that's the name of the column is equal to at any name what you like for your parameter in my case I'm gonna call this one country name so we are all good this is single value parameter as we have used the equal to if you would like to have multi value then you will be using in clause but in our case we are working with the single value parameter hit ok now very first thing uh, we need to import those images on which uh, we want to click uh, and sh show the contents uh, so what I'm gonna do here I would like to create a, a report header and then uh, in the then uh, we can go ahead and uh, put those images in the report header why I would like to do that because uh, if uh, our report will be uh, going on multiple pages uh, at least those uh, images will be displayed on each of the page uh, so that's what I, I like uh, so go ahead uh, and uh, put a report header so add page uh, sorry uh, page header so add page header here and now go to images add some images and I have created uh, uh, or use uh, some images such as the Pakistani map and Indian map and United States map so I'm gonna use those uh, different uh, pictures uh, so let me go ahead and use those ones and import so let's go ahead and use all the files and here we have a Pakistani map picture then we have a India map picture so we are adding those pictures to the report and then we'll be adding the other one that's the United States map picture so we have those pictures right now now click here and insert an image so 
don't do anything really just hit okay and uh, this will be image item uh, and uh, we can uh, put uh, any image here so let's uh, drag that image let's say we will bring a Pakistani map image here and then uh, we'll bring uh, another one insert image and here hit okay and we'll put India map here and next uh, we'll have uh, let me bring the third one Im insert image and here hit okay I'm gonna bring USA image here so that's how you can bring them and then uh, uh, also if you would like to put the report heading you can go ahead and use that one uh, let's say title or something about your report say report let's uh, go ahead and insert and text box here and uh, make this one a little big and uh, now we are gonna give some nice name to this report uh, let's call this one sale report by country that's fine let's bold it give some background color let's give green and uh, now let's make this one uh, italic and we are good here now the next part uh, what we want to do when we click on Pakistan we want to see the data for Pakistan when we click on India we want to see the data for India and when we click on United States so uh, we want to see the data for United States uh, so right click here insert a table uh, and in the table what we want to do we want to bring those uh, fields uh, that we want to display in my case I want to have first name last name and then uh, let's say item sold and uh, also I would like to bring a country here this country we don't really need that but anyways just to show you it it is working correctly that's why I have put the country here so bold it italic it and uh, let's uh, give some background color to this one as well so now go ahead and give the color for the background let's go with the, this color now we are good let's uh, check that report in the preview what we have to do first of all we have to provide the value for the parameter so in this case uh, let's say if I get, go ahead and with Pakistan now I will see a report uh, with the Pakistan but uh, this part is not working so if I click on Pakistan map it's not giving me the records from Pakistan so I have to provide the parameter value now what I want to do uh, if I will put the India I will get India uh, records but I want to click here and change these uh, records so that's what I'm, I want to do now let me go back here and do few things first of all I would like to click here and then I'm gonna go image properties and here in the action I go to the I will say go to the report so I will be pointing the same report so specify report and the report we are using is called image click and add and here once we click add it will give us the parameter name so a country name fx and here we will provide the value so if put double quotes Pakistan now put the double quotes around this value here hit ok now we are good now the same thing we have to do for India right click go to image properties and go to action go to report we will be going to the same report we are not going to any, any other report and uh, image click and here we will be using parameter and now you will be using value fx and here I want to provide the value called India so that's the country name in my case hit ok the next one is the USA image properties go to action go to the report same report we are going and uh, here we will be saying image click that's our report go to the add a parameter and uh, use the country name parameter here and now we will be using USA this is all good few things we have to do more let me click here and preview the report now still the parameter the that's the first thing it is uh, appearing so now if I will say Pakistan I can go ahead and see the records here and now you can see I have this uh, kind of pointer that will that's given me some options so if I click on this image now on USA it is a uh, working so let's see it, if, if it is still not okay if I click on Pakistan I'm getting Pakistan value if I click on India flag I'm getting India values if I click on uh, United States uh, uh, flag I am get, getting USA values uh, or 
or records. That's great, but uh, I don't really care about this uh, first uh, country name parameter anymore. I don't want to display that. Uh, my report should uh, just uh, generate automatically with some default values at first, uh, and then I should be able to change them. So now what I want to do, I want to go to the parameter properties, uh, and here in the parameter, right click parameter properties, uh, I want to say, hide the parameter. I am I, I am not interested to see the parameter. Next, uh, I want to provide some default value. So in this case, let's provide USA as the default value. So our report will start with United States. Uh, and also, we can go ahead and uh, increase uh, the size of these uh, maps. Uh, so we see that they are a little bigger and uh, they will be helpful when we click on them. Let me make this one. You can play with them and make them uh, exactly the same size. Uh, it's your choice. Uh, so let me make this United States a little bigger. Uh, the picture was kind of okay. Now this looks better. Go, now we preview the report. As we have hided uh, the parameter and we have provided the default value United States, uh, so we see the values or the records coming from USA. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on Pakistan map. And once I click on Pakistan map, I see the records coming from Pakistan. If I click on India map, and now I'll see the records for India. So this is how you will be creating a, a report where, where you can put the images such as, let's say you have multiple departments, sales, HR, and all those. You can have those folders, maybe folder structure folder one, for HR folder, sales folder, and all those folders here. And then by clicking on them, you can change these contents or records and see that. So I, I will be creating another report where you can toggle those even uh, let's say in this one we use only one tablex uh, and uh, that's why we were uh, just uh, using the parameter values and changing that in next report what i'm going to do on a uh, image click uh, your con uh, your tablex maybe will change you know totally you will have new columns uh, maybe you will have a chart or a d different type of report uh, so each of the image uh, will stick around but uh, the contents or the or the items under that will change so that's our next report so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in next video